Hey guys, Ryan with Cycle News. We're just wrapping up our ride day with Dunlop on the new MX-34 tire. This is a brand new tire from Dunlop. It's kind of replacing the 33. It's building on the 33, so it's kind of based off that into a new generation of tires. So it's got a new tread pattern, better grip, better mud evacuation as they call it, so it sheds the dirt better. Yeah, really fun day. We're at LACR today. Uh, this is, the track's built out of a rock quarry. It's really sandy on top, but it's got a really hard base on the bottom. So um, in the morning, it's really deep and you get a lot of traction everywhere on the, everywhere on the track. But as it dries up, it gets real bumpy. Um, you're riding the sides of the tire. There's some good elevation here. Just like I said, it's built into the ground. So uh, really fun place to test a new tire today. And honestly, I'm kind of hard when it comes to testing tires, right? It's kind of hard to tell if a tire is good, but it's really easy to tell if a tire is bad. And when you ride with a new tire like this, like the new MX-34, what I noticed right away is just the sidewall grab, the way I can lean the bike over going up the hill uh, and then lean it on the way into a corner or lean it on the way down and totally trust the side knobs to bite and really have that trust in the tire all the way down so you're not just skating or sliding. It really feels like the tire's you know, gripping all the way through. There is some new V cutouts in the sidewall or in the knobs of the tire. So that's gonna help with that you know, mud evacuation. Another thing I noticed today too is after I'm done riding, there's hardly any dirt stuck to my stuck to my tires at all. Not sure if that has to do with actually the mud or the pattern that they designed, but cool to see that there's really nothing sticking to the tires afterwards. Um, they've mentioned you know, about lap times and things like that and how this new tire has improving those over the 33. Like I said, hard sometimes for me to tell if a tire is really good. Um, it's hard, it's easy to tell if it's bad. It's hard to tell if it's good sometimes. There's a lot of moving parts on a dirt bike. Uh, on a bicycle, I feel like I'm a little bit better at being able to tell the ground and telling the tire on the ground, especially like on a road bike or something, you can feel everything. But on the dirt bike, especially in really deep conditions like today, sometimes it's a little bit hard, but as the track wore down and became worse, um, the front wheel traction as you're coming through, you, know, you kind of G out at the bottom of these hills and you're carrying your momentum through the outsides. Having that bite through some of the sandy stuff, I noticed on the sides of the tire was really good. I wasn't washing. I really feel like I could trust the tire. They also said that they're running 13 pounds in the front and I think 12 and 12 and a half in the rear. So that's what we ran, ran their spec they wanted. So yeah, I noticed, especially in the deeper conditions that that worked really well. You know, it's almost hard to tell that it's good, but it's easy to tell if it's bad. So it's cool to see like the, the presentation today and showing like the actual differences in the spacing because everyone's always trying to develop something new, but when there's actually like hard evidence, it's pretty cool to see. Like I always like hearing that it's race tested. To me, that's cool. Like that's why our sport is so like developing always so fast. When you have like the best pros running the stuff and then they get all the feedback, and then it's gonna trickle down to us and the consumers who are like actually buying the product, which I think is really cool. Well, and it was interesting too, like listening to you guys talk about the tubes and what kind of like what pressure you run and what density tube and all how all that makes a difference. Like, I don't know if the average consumer really thinks about that stuff. He's just like, what's cheap? What can I afford? And like, what's gonna last me a long time? Yeah, I just noticed like coming down the hills, like really being able to trust the tire all the way in and like the Honda that I'm on is like known to be super stiff so it's like always bouncing and like deflecting up stuff so it was, it was nice to just be able to like charge down the hill and like ride that sidewall and just trust it all the way through so that was what i noticed the most so like the one section you're going up the hill it's like you're kind of turning as it's going super hard it's on the side of the hill there and i like never felt it break i just was like riding that side the side knobs is what i noticed the most like the most traction there and then down the hill on the edge of the tire, trusting it. Like, I didn't ever feel like I was sliding or gonna tuck the front or anything like that. Hoping to spend some more time on these tires. Um, I'm riding a 250F today. I've been riding this Honda 250 for the last couple weeks, so a little bit underpowered on a deep, fast track like this, but these tires definitely made it a little bit easier to hook up and get that traction and get the power to the ground. So hopefully we can spend some more time on these tires, get some more testing done, and uh, really put these things to the test, wear them down a little bit and see how they work. This is an intermediate to soft terrain tire. So the wear is gonna be probably a little bit faster than maybe an intermediate to hard, but you're gonna get that maximum traction, definitely like a race tire. You know, these were definitely race tested all throughout. They said from the 2022 Supercross season from Anaheim three up until, you know, last week when Chase Sexton won the title and now finally released to the public. So definitely a race inspired tire. Thanks guys for watching. Gotta give a big shout out to Alpine Stars and Dunlop for hooking us up with this awesome, this is the pro level gear. So pretty cool gift that we get at the new intros. So as always, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. You can check out all the stuff about these new tires in Cycle News Magazine, available for free at cyclenews.com. 
Those are available every Tuesday at cyclenews.com. Sign up for the email, you get it delivered straight to your email, into your inbox for free. So thanks guys, appreciate you watching. Catch you next time at the track.